girls, today I am going to do a requested video on how to use a flat iron on your jamberry nails to seal the tips and to get out any little bubbles along the edges that you might have pop up later on after your application process has already taken place. So what I have in front of me is my, my flat iron. Now I have a Chi. It does not have different settings for the heat level. So what I do to make sure that I don't burn myself, because right now it's cold, I actually am going to apply the iron directly onto some pieces of my nail. Now the reason that I do this is to apply heat and pressure, which are the two essential things that you need for Jamberry nails. Um, as you can tell, I have curved nails. This thumb is a lot more flat, so I typically don't have this problem with my thumbs. It's only with my other fingernails that I have this issue. And it, what I get every once in a while are some little bumps around the back or the sides because I'm taking something that's flat and I'm making it curve. So if I don't stretch it out well, I might have a, little, a few little bumps that I have to go back and I touch them up with my flat iron because I can get a concentrated heat source right in one spot. So what I do is I turn it on just for a few seconds, okay? And it's not coming. Turn it on just for a few seconds. Here, see that my little light's on. I'm gonna have to kind of turn so that you can see what I'm doing. Now, um, I'm gonna show you how I um, seal the tips. If I have any um, layering that comes apart, that usually happens after about maybe seven or eight days. I might have some wear and tear, or if I'm using my fingernails as a tool and I split the shield somehow by trying to like open, um, open something with my fingernails, I can seal it back down. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I've turned it on and then I turn it back off. I don't want it hot. I actually probably left it on a little bit longer than I should have. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you with, um, let me pick, I'm gonna use my, my pointer finger right here. There's just one slight little, maybe if the light catches it right, you can see right there, there's just a tiny, tiny little ridge. Now what I do is I tend to use this side of the flat iron right there, okay, the corner. And what I will do is I'm gonna try to give you my vantage point. I just tap that ever so slightly over that, I don't know if you can see, let me turn this direction, just like this. Let me turn a little bit. Okay, see that right there? I just tap it on there and, and this, even though it's hot to the touch, it is not nearly as hot to the touch of the nail, okay? So I take this and I slide it across it, and I just use the heat and pressure to seal it back down. Now you can do this with your tips as well. What I will do is I will just roll it across, just like this. I just barely get it. Let me see if I can get a shot of it here. Barely get it, and I just roll it like this. Okay, I roll it. And that just seals those tips back down. And then if it cools down too much, because remember, it's off right now. I can turn it back on for a couple of seconds and get it warmed up, but I like working with it when it's kind of on its way cooling down. Um, any little pieces that I have that kind of little hiccups along the, throughout the week or whatever, I zap them with my flat iron and they're good to go. It does not hurt. Now listen, I know this is not for everyone. This scares some people um, and that's okay. The people that normally have the issue that I have are going to be people with curved nails. If you have flat nails, you're probably looking at this video going, what is she talking about? I don't ever get any bumps. It typically happens with people that have really curved nails. Mine are sort of moderately curved. There are some folks that have, um, like, if this is your nail, well, if this is my nail, some people have it flat like this. Mine is curved like this, and there are some people who have it really, really curved like that. So you're trying to get something flat to curve. I don't know if that makes sense. That's my little, ooh, I'm my little wings. Okay, but that's kind of what I'm talking about. So I hope this helps that you see that I am not just sandwiching my finger in a flat iron. When I say I zap it with my flat iron, I just tap, tap, tap. I might take the corner, ridge it down just a little bit. See how I'm using this corner? Now that this is cooled down a little bit, I might be able to get a better angle. Um, I didn't want to do this when it was too hot because 
since I'm showing you an angle I can't see. See, I'm using my corner. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Barely touching that corner. So I hope this helps you. Um, make sure that you subscribe down to my page, uh, Beauty and Jams on YouTube. As always, if you want to place an order, uh, go to my website, angelaporter.jamberrynails.net. Uh, if you wanna host an online party, you can always do that through me. You can order, and um, this is actually metallic snake skin that I'm wearing today. You can order those through my website, angelaporter.jamberrynails.net. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Beauty and Jams, and always Facebook as well. I post pictures all the time and sometimes do uh, giveaways and that sort of thing. So uh, don't ever hesitate to email me, beautyandjams at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to send you a sample. Uh, so. Ask me any questions you might have. All right, talk to you later. Bye.